Hey, it's Raven Scry. Uh, today I'm going to do a reading for October. Uh, I'm going to leave uh, very open to whatever um, spirit feels uh, is the most important information to bring through in the reading today. So enjoy. Okay, so as I connect, I'm being shown these, these white light um, connections, figures uh, from the spirit world. Uh, they're blending and bringing their energy in. Uh, they come very close and they're speaking of love. They're speaking about songs of love. Uh, and people, uh, they're showing me people all joining together uh, in connection and support and community. Uh, and it's like they show this and they're stringed together. Uh, it's like they have this enormous white light. It comes in and it's like linking everybody around the globe uh, with this beautiful love uh, that they're sharing. They're talking about all connecting to this connection of love uh, and sharing. Now they show me people who stand away from it, who stand aside, uh, and, and they're wanting to speak of it is the time to join now. Uh, it's as if they make me aware of... Uh, they make me aware of people who have in some way, you know, struggle or hidden... Uh, and, and, and held back, held, stood away from joining uh, such love. It hasn't been the right time, there hasn't been the right, enough space, it, but essentially it's like they're reminding me of this ring of light and this ring of love connecting everything and all, and they offer a hand. It's like um, they offer the hand out as, come on, you know, come and join now, it's time. And as I said that, I got a, buzz, a really strong buzz in my leg. It's like, it's like they show me everybody linking, uh, and the importance of this linking at this time energetically for the planet. They talk about this being a preparation of what what is coming. They, they speak about a harvest. It's like they show me this great gathering of people joining together, coming together. Uh, in community uh, to support each other. Uh, th it's like there's no separation here uh, and there's harmonious relationships in these communities um, that they're showing me. It's like everyone's working together and they're, they're working together in the mundane ways, you know, like doing things that people do day to day, but there is a harmony and there is this sense of a hum that's taking place through the community that is just like keeping everybody held uh, and uplifted. Uh, and it's like there's no room for people to be <clears throat> missed or, or uh, excluded in any way. There is this um, all-encompassing connection uh, that they keep showing me here. Now they are wanting to show me a uh, reference now to um, it feels as though other times, uh, it feels as though it's an Egypt connection here. Um, they're reminding me of a time in Egypt that this was very similar um, and, and by Egypt I mean like, you know, years ago, ancient Egyptian times, uh, they're not giving me specifics. Um, but it's like they show me the community. There was there was a hum in within the community. It's like they're connecting this time uh, to that time along along the timeline, um, one in the same, in the way that it comes through. It, but it's like uh, there was this harmony. But through this this working together, this community, um, it's like something stiffened something. Uh, froze over. It's like a sense of, you know, the way they show it, it's like there's this frozen element uh, that they show me. It's like it's like this community froze over. Uh, and so they're connecting me to this time 
uh, and and exampling of like don't no it's not we're, we're not going to allow that to happen again um, it does feel like it's sort of a, a, um, another chance another cycle of the same but it will be different this time is the way uh, that it comes through now as I say that there is like a, an intense kind of a compression coming in uh, and I am it's interesting I'm being shown mice and rats now which okay I'm I'm just going to allow uh, whatever comes through to come through, not try to understand it too much here. Uh, but there is these rats, these plagues of mice and rats um, within this uh, city that they're showing me. Um, they're showing me times through history now, uh, through times of great sufferance. Um, and it's like these plagues of mice, these plagues of... Uh, rats there and it feels connected to the time of the plague um, and just this this depth of suffering that the community uh, has gone through so they're in some way showing these references to times in history uh, the connection with Egypt there's, there's a connection with the plague um, there is a connection with within what took place and uh, the it's like some sort of a clearing or a cleaning uh, of the energy um, of these times. Um, but, you know, they measure this or, or share this with, with this light uh, connected energy. Um, they talk about it being a time for the clearing uh, of this um, energy. And it's very important. Uh, it's very important that the community is connected to this white light, this white ring, this love. Essentially, it's it's pure love. And as people connect to this, it will support uh, the ability to work with places within us uh, that uh, some, in some way causing disarray, you know, ancient parts of ourselves that we still carry, that are still... Uh, in some in some ways disempowering our reality uh, of the way that we move forward uh, it's like parts of us being stuck in other times in other places so the importance of this community joining uh, is is so um, is so it's so important that everybody join together within this energy uh, to find the support uh, to be able to revisit uh, and see and therefore let go of um, places that have ended up frozen over or blocked in some way is the way that they show this. So essentially it's about uh, joining, coming together. Uh, that's, that's very important here uh, because it's almost like they, they present that there is this, you know, coming time that's going to be challenging for many uh, but there is enough light this time is what they're uh, wanting to impress in this sharing. It's like there is enough light and it's like the cycles are working uh, with this time. There's, um, in the way that they, sh they show it, it's like there's been enough um, change, there's been enough space created uh, within the energetics, within the collective field to be able to hold the energy to be able to stay with and not separate in a, uh, a kind of a duality. It's like there would have been a time where there's there's a, a vast separation within these situations, but uh, within the way they're showing it, it's like uh, there is now um, this energy of love, this energy of uh, oneness, the, this holding a space for uh, integration of things that have previously been divided but they are no longer divided. Uh, they're coming together and um, things that were previously separate are now one and supporting the one moving forward. Uh, so it's a very powerful time. Um, not to say, you know, it's all easy and graceful with this love but, um, you know, in the way that they show it, it's like tune into it. You know, you don't have to literally be, you know, in the, in the company of others, but just stop for a moment 
and feel the resonance of that love that they're talking about. Just feel it. Can you feel it? It's like they talk about people's gifts returning. Uh, it's like within these, oh, I'm getting a lot of tingles coming through. It's like within, within this, this change in this time uh, and this integration, it's like it's not only, you know, visiting hard, hard times. It's like uh, we're going and in, moving into times of, of remembering gifts, remembering things that we knew a long time ago, remembering things uh, that we knew how to do, ways of being. It's like this innate wisdom floods back as we remember who we truly are as beings. It's like parts of us have been um, taken away or frozen in time in the way they show it. Uh, but there is this um, this unwrapping and uh, finding parts. It's like you know the way they show it is like looking through... Um, looking through a drawer for something and suddenly you're like, oh, there's that, interesting. And then, oh, oh, there's that as well, I forgot I had that. It's like it's finding parts of yourself um, that were stuck in parts of, of disconnect, places that had to be left. But it is the time now to uh, return um, and integrate more of self uh, and it's very powerful uh, is what they keep showing me. They're talking about raising the vibration to raise the lift into um, the next level of change and of consciousness. Now it's interesting because they, they spoke a lot about this um, years ago to me. Like around 2019 this really kept kept being spoken to me. Um, but it's like they connected to that time. It's like there's been years that have passed and now it's time to pick up what was being glimpsed at that time. So it's like, okay, now to, time to move forward, time to join, time to to support the lift, time to allow yourself to be part of that lift. Um, now when I say lift, you know, I, I don't mean exclusion at all. Uh, and I need to stress that it's there's no exclusion here. There is a, a wholeness and a fullness in the change, uh, unlike uh, has really been uh, felt in our experience at this time. There is this support of love and, and, it, and it moves into a golden energy, this lifting, this golden energy, uh, and there's more connection to spirit, there's more connection to... Um, the spirit realm and our own intuition and knowing it's like we just know people who uh, people who had gifts and realized that they had gifts but they kind of were just there it's like they're just going to flood in it's like these gifts of oh wow I, I just knew that these synchronicities are all just going to start flowing in uh, and work together it's going to become you know, the word woo-woo won't be so much of a woo-woo separate. It's like we are integrating, we are merging uh, into all of ourselves and we're all vastly gifted beings. So we're going to discover ourselves moving forward and it's like this, it's going to happen without thinking about it, without trying too hard. It's just going to be, oh, wow, I'm doing that without even thinking. Uh, I didn't realise that, you know, it's not, there's no thought in it, there's no head or trying, it's just doing, it's just being. There's just a blending and there's emergence as we shift. Okay, I ask Spirit now, is there anything more that they wish to share in this reading today? They're just talking about the future being fruitful. They show me this, this beautiful tree full of fruit there for the picking, there for the taking. But allow yourself to move, allow yourself to move toward the tree for the offerings that it has. It almost feels like it's some sort of a window of time, though it's like they, they offer this, this tree, it's like they show this tree, this beautiful fruit of this tree, but 
It's like it's offered and then it goes away. So it's like there is this window or this space in time that needs to be taken. The opportunity to step forward needs to be taken um, to be able to uh, be part of the fruits that are offered uh, from this tree. They talk about a divine evolution about to take place. So be ready and prepare yourselves. Okay, I'm going to leave you with the love of this reading. And take care of yourselves. See you next time. Raven's Grace signing off.